Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In, uh, in today's video, guys, we'll be dis discussing a few codes, guys, uh, that uh, indicate that you have a problem with your intake air temperature sensor. So where is that sensor, guys? You have, uh, you have two sensors that uh, collect data for the uh, air temperature, guys. One is on the bumper and one is on the engine. That one on the engine is more important. Why? Because that sensor, guys, actually uh, determines how much fuel to spray, air, a uh, few things uh, that mixes the, um, uh, that actually forms the mixture, and that way the engine can uh, run the best and pollute the, the least. So, the codes that we're talking about, guys, is P0097 and P0113. You may just get one of those, you may get both but this one indicates bad intake air temperature sensor and we'll show you on this one guys now this code uh, this uh, this sensor is integrated in another sensor so when you have to replace it you have to replace uh, the whole assembly and we will show you why quick introduction guys we'll have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video let's start on it now so looking guys at the engine, this is the 1.8, but even if you have a 1.4, the procedure will be the same. You have your air filter box, okay, and, uh, past your air filter box is your intake boot, and right before the intake boot, okay, you have one sensor. This is called mass airflow sensor, it detects how much air goes in the engine. However guys, this is a complicated sensor, and actually the intake temperature sensor, okay, is located inside that sensor as well. So uh, let me show you how we're going to disconnect that thing now okay maybe let me see if i can get it yep okay that red thing needs to slide back like that then push in and disconnect it intake temperature sensor guys is located right here okay you can see it's located right there so in our case guys i'll go ahead start the car i want to show you how that sensor is bad you may get codes, okay, if the sensor completely burns, or if it's not plugged in, you may get codes for uh, mass airflow sensor as well. You may get codes for uh, the MAP sensor. Why? Because uh, these codes, guys, okay, uh, actually uh, the, the whole circuit is working together and it's not getting the correct value as well. So you may get multiple codes now, guys. Okay, car is turned on, engine light is on, you can see, uh, and it just it just stays on okay so i'll go ahead turn the car off turn the ignition on only this is guys the scanner that we're using this scanner is amazing and you can find the link listed in the description of the video below guys it's very good price and uh, it can do so many things you can read codes from the engine computer air back and traction control computer uh, abs computer guys you can do so many things with that what we'll do we'll go to obd click there enter now it's going to establish communication with the car it will take just a few okay probably a few seconds codes found five okay and usually we have guys here a few computers i'm going to connect to the one that ends in eight that's the one that has the codes usually for our vehicle yours might be different so check each one of them click read codes and i checked stored codes and the codes that we have P0097 intake temperature sensor, P0113 intake temperature sensor, and the other one is mass airflow sensor, guys. So always check pending codes to make sure you don't have anything there. No pending codes are stored in the module. Everything is stored codes, guys. So now I'll go ahead, turn the car off, guys. We'll go ahead, okay, the sensor I told you about. We're going to go ahead and replace the whole mass airflow sensor with the intake temperature sensor and we'll see if that will fix the problem. The purpose of today's video is not to show you how to do it. If you want to see the video, it's on the channel, but uh, to show you guys if it's going to take care of the problem. It's pretty simple. If you want to buy one, we have the link where we got ours from, the replacement one in the description of the video below. You disconnect the wire, you have only two screws that you need to remove and you'll be able to replace that sensor. So the sensor has been replaced, I'll go inside, okay, we're going to turn the ignition on again, turn the ignition on, and now right here, we're going to go back, and we'll click erase codes, confirm, erase done. So if I start the car now, okay, let's see if I start it now, if the engine light will be on. 
and how you can test that sensor if it's working you can go guys to live data right here click live data and you will be actually able to check if that sensor is working or not and let me show you how it's pretty simple just give us about 10 seconds to communicate with the modules and i'll show you what we're looking for and that way you will know if your sensor is working and if it's showing uh, showing any value oh it should be any minute now we're almost there we click complete list and this is the thermostat temperature right now the coolant temperature we should have one that says intake air temperature right there 34 degrees celsius this is guys okay this is the sensor right there so you can see ours is definitely okay working so we don't have a problem there guys so you can see that takes care of our problem new sensor thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time